Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today I want to talk about the Spellbinders Creativity Clubs or Craft Clubs. They are monthly subscriptions and this is my very first one, so I'm excited about it. They have several different options. They have for die cutting, if you like die cutting, they have the small die cutting for $15. That is a $27 value. They have the large die cutting for $27.50. That is a $40 value. The APG die which stands for Amazing Paper Grace. These are more of those really detailed filigree type dies. The, that kit is $32.50 a month for a value of $45. The card kit is like everything you need to make cards, including the paper. That's $38.50 for a value of $60. The clear stamp and die is $17.50 for a value of $30.99. $30 and the glimmer which is $22.50 a month for a value of $37. So if you, I'll give you a link down below. I bought the Glimmer Machine, which does the hot foil using hot foil plates. So I thought it would be really exciting to get this. It, um, it was already unsealed here, so let's pull this out. This is the October kit. I did look online, and this kit is no longer available. So if you subscribe now, you would be getting the next kit. The kits are billed by the 5th of every month and shipped by the end of that month. And when you subscribe, you also get 10% off on their online store. Ooh, nice. This is called Glimmering Autumn Woods. Oh, look at that. Mushrooms and leaves and, and acorns. There's an expression that says, thankful for you, little tiny leaves. And there are dyes to cut out these things right here. I love it. This is going to be really fun to play with. And the foil is, it's copper. So this, again, is my first set from them. Looking forward to this. So let's get the machine out. So we have the two shims. We have the mat here for, this is the silicone mat for cooling off your plates. I've got the um, tool and the plug-in right here. Now, I am not going to waste your time heating this up on camera. I will heat it up off camera and then we will come together and play with these dies. So what I think I'm going to do is do these on the cardstock that I would normally use for Copic markers because I would like to color these in once they are foiled. Oh, and they do give you on the back, they give you some examples of things that you could do. There, I just turned that on. It's going to take it a minute. So I'm going to open this and then get this all situated. Okay, my light is on, which means this is hot enough. I don't want to touch it, so I'm going to place these on here using this. That'll work. Okay, now I want to get my foil out. Actually, I'm going to start the timer there. Now, just so you know, I did test. It takes about five minutes for this to get up to temperature. I can feel the heat here. And the timer is about a minute for it to be heating these up. When the timer goes off, I'm going to undock it, put the foil on, and my cardstock, and my plates here, and run it through my Big Shot and the timer light will turn a solid instead of blinking. Okay, it's ready. I'm going to undock it because it jars everything. Put the pretty side down. Both of these. And I'm going to hold that and run it through my Big Shot. Now I left this on because if I want to do more, I can do more, but I think for the sake of this, what I'm going to do is do the rest of these off camera. If I want more than one acorn, for instance, I will do that off camera so that you don't have to watch that whole thing again. This is my cardstock. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Now, I had, when I put this through, um, I heard a shutter. My machine, I was, I was cranking it through. I did something wrong. And so I'm going to redo this one. We will come back and color those out. So I wasn't sure about this one. This is actually a die cutting 
not a foiling. So this one, this little leaf here, learn by experience here, put that back. I will redo this one off camera. We are Then we're going to color these in. So I have uh, done several more. I have a beautiful, thankful for you one that I will set aside. And I just have some of these that I will be coloring in. And then what I did, I looked at this cardboard and I thought, you know, I want to keep this. And it has ideas on the back and it has the information about what month it was, that it's October 21, how many pieces are in the set, and it's called Glimmering Autumn Woods. So what I did, I have these magnetic adhesive sheets from Oriental Trading Company. And I just cut it down to size and put it on there. And now it will fit in the half size page protectors. So these are the eight and a half by five and a half. And you can see it would fit in there just beautifully. But I'm going to be using the dies after I color these in. So I have some Copics. I'm, I have a set of like oranges, browns, and greens. And we'll see what I can come up with. And so for the browns, I am using... E, 25, 33, and 57. I'm sorry about this glare. Let's see. Yeah, I need to do something about this glare. I'm going to see if this will work. And this is an empty gift wrap tube. There we go. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow tips here. Okay, very pretty. Now I'm going to switch to one of these. Let's go with the yellows. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that color. Absolutely stunning. Okay, now um, this also has this mushroom. I think we need a little bit of red here. Do the underside brown. And the red I pulled out is R29. And I think I'm going to do one of the leaves some greenish color like it hasn't quite turned yet. So I'm using G09, G14, and YG17. I think I might color it and add just a little bit of brown on it. There we go. I'm going to color the rest of these off camera. All right, I have die cut these and these are amazing. I want you to see how closely these dies cut. It is amazing. This is the hot foil plate that came with my glimmer machine. So I have used that with the same foil on some white cardstock. I have this, um, oh, it's a specialty paper that's like a burlap. And so I fussy cut this out. I would love to see a die for this. Maybe they have one somewhere. And this would be a card front. And I will glue all these on around there. And I think, let me move this over here. Since the this is this burlap -y stuff, I'm really not sure how well uh, we know what glue would work. So I'm going to work with my Fabri-Tac here. Because this isn't paper that I'm gluing this onto. So what I do is I'm going to turn that upside down and then I can really rub that. I have glued this, be thankful for you, onto orange cardstock, and I'm just using some pinking, uh, craft pinking scissors. 
So that can go in the middle and I can glue all of these around. So what I think I'm going to do is kind of focus around the bottom here. This is probably going to be up on foam and I am going to pretty much use my Barely Art glue. Actually what I need to do is kind of get an idea of how these are going to go. I want to spread out these orange ones and I don't have to necessarily use everything. Like for instance, I have an extra acorn. Maybe I could put that down here. I don't know. I think I will do it like this. So I'll start with this and I will glue the pieces that are underneath. Oops, I did want to add a little bit of Fabri-Tac right at the bottom here. Ooh, I love that mushroom. And I have this one little tiny flower here. Now, I still have this. I'm not sure. You know what I could do? That might be a good idea. It would be to put this here because it's kind of heavy here. But if I put the... Here we go. I will add this right there. All right, and I'm going to get foam tape out for this. I think I'm going to use these narrow strips here. There we go. I think I need a little bit of distressing around the burlap here. Let's see how well that works. And then this will be mounted on a card. This really is helping. I needed to define those edges just a little bit. There you go. So I have purchased this kit on my own. I, it's not sponsored by any company or anyone. And I will give you a link down below to the machine, the Glimmer machine, and to the kits. Now, this kit is already sold out, but you can possibly subscribe for the following one or some other kits. And I hope you have a blessed day, and I am thankful for all of you.